Hey, I'm John from AIAnimation.com and in today's video I'm going to share some exciting news from the AI creative and video space. Here we go. The biggest bit of news is that Stable Diffusion 3 has been announced and you can join the waitlist today. The images and text ability and overall coherence to prompts look to be better than ever. It'll be interesting to see if Stable Video, Stable Diffusion's video generation offering, can be trained in a similar way with tons of GPUs to achieve better coherence throughout video clips, better quality, and rival a certain up and coming video generation platform from a little company called OpenAI. In other news, Decohere.ai, which actually uses Stable Diffusion for their image and video generations, now offers a new ability in their fast AI image generation tool with a new reference person feature. You can use one of their example images and try it out for free or sign up to use an image of your own. Nice. Another Stable Diffusion based platform, Domo AI, is rolling out their version 2 with improved visual styles with better video to video conversion, resulting in improved background consistency did a deep dive into using Domo AI's video to video feature here and it's probably going to be worth revisiting once they roll out this version 2 model throughout their different art styles. Plus I've just seen the arrival of a competitor to Domo AI at goenhance.ai which from their previews looks to be producing some stunning video to video conversions. Plus they have an image upscale tool as well so perhaps another one to check out. Common Sense Machine over at csm.ai, who are one of the first to offer a tool enabling you to create a 3D model from an image, have shared news of upcoming updates to their 3D generation platform. With the addition of much improved 3D modeling, new easy character rigging tools, and the ability to animate your characters from some pre-existing animations or using a text prompt, and a new approach to 3D generative AI with dynamic editable 3D environments with their implicitly learned game engine. Looks pretty cool. And they also previewed a way to produce consistent characters, something that everyone is eager to see improved in generative AI across the board, so that'll be interesting. Move.ai, who offer an AI-powered markerless motion capture tool, have shared some new examples and it's definitely one I want to check out to see how it stacks up against alternatives, allowing you to turn 2D footage into 3D rigged character animation and it looks to be producing clean, consistent output with some decent foot locking so these characters aren't sliding around on the floor. Talking of alternatives, Deep Motion, who have for years been one of the leaders in video to motion capture tech, are edging closer and closer to releasing their Say Motion 3D animation tool, where you can animate characters with text prompts and I suspect it's going to be pretty damn good. There's been some big updates to FinalFrame.ai as they start rolling out their Beta 2 version and it's being updated on a daily basis at the moment and they're trying to build something pretty cool. It was initially a popular tool just for grabbing the last frame of video which was useful for creating extended AI clips in platforms like Runway ML and things like that, but they've gone on to integrate stable video generations, plus are soon rolling out their own custom camera controls, plus they have a new image upscaler that's quick and much cheaper than well-known upscaling tools like Magnific, and they're rolling out an enhanced feature today. So it might be worth spending just a few dollars to give it a try and support this awesome small indie development team. Lastly, there was this small thing called Sora that got previewed last week, but no one's talking about it, so I won't bother. And a quick viewing recommendation for you. There's a cool AI-created video that won the Best 3D Generation Award at this year's MIT AI for Filmmaking Hackathon. It's got some really nice original storytelling and some cool visuals, so why not make yourself a cup of tea and check it out? They utilise Runway ML, Gen2, Pixverse and some of the 3D models were actually generated with Meshi.ai, which I covered in this video recently. Alright, thanks for watching. As always, please press like, subscribe and leave any comments below. Cheers.